Pierce, favorite player prop you like? Sammy Fehoku, touchdown. <laughs> I was just going to say, the odds on that are probably plus 200,000. <laughs> oh, that, that's funny that you wonder, because they are. They're plus 10,000 for him to score oh. the first touchdown of the game. Hey, if you want to have some fun tonight, you want to throw down a bet that could pay out well, throw 10 bucks on Simi Fehoku to score the first touchdown. Again, you need to see that Cooper's not playing. You got to see, oh, basically, if that happens, then Fehoku's going to play probably 50% of the snaps. Uh, and it's a pretty good chance. I mean, at t plus 10,000 to score the first touchdown, why not throw $10 down on that? Get yourself 1000 bucks tonight. Uh, it's a matchup that nice. can be exploited. We expect that they're going to pass the ball. And if they're going to pass, yeah. someone's going to catch that touchdown. Why not Fehoku? Hey, man, I like it, dude. There's always a chance, brother. Uh, Reed, what do you want to do here? Your favorite player prop. I'm really feeling the Seme Feoko. Dude, uh, I hope he goes off tonight. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. I hope he gets two touchdowns. <laughs> uh, I think Dak over eight and a half rushing yards is definitely a play. But the one that I actually really like kind of correlates with uh, with Jeff's uh, captain play. I'm going under two and a half receptions for Ezekiel Elliott. You're getting plus money on that. And, and this kind of correlates to it. Like, uh, Zika Elliott has hit this number over this number like in his last six contests so it does get a little bit but I do think if you want to keep this guy fresh for the entire rest of the postseason and the rest of the regular season you got to feature a more 50-50 split and I don't think you need to, to feature a lot of the running backs necessarily in this passing uh, matchup because you have a guy like Fehoko and uh, <laughs> CD Lamb and some of these other guys that you can feature. So I'm gonna go under two and a half receptions for Zeke. All right, Ulrich, welcome to the show, bud. Yeah, I mean, I, I bring up little, little Jordan Humphrey and, and somehow Semi Fajoko becomes <laughs> the star of the show. Anyways, okay. Um, we've talked about the, the the receiving situation for Dallas. And, and again, I mean, it could go to the this, this wide receiver who is I'm pretty sure a real person. But I think that the, the main thing here, I, I think Dallas will throw to the running backs a little bit more. And I like going over on Tony Pollard uh, 16.5 receiving yards. He's got over this in his last four games. The the New Orleans Saints are a good rush defense, but as Emerson, you alluded to at the start, they're not really that great against guarding against uh, receptions to the, the running back position. They're lying over 10 yards per reception on the season to running backs. I, I think Pollard gets used a lot here as a receiver, just for the fact that I, I, I also agree with Pierce. I don't think Cooper's going to play, and if he does, it's just going to be like a, a few snaps. So yeah. I, I like going over on Tony Pollard's receiving yardage today.